Joining me now is John Antwi. He is the uh, CEO and founder of Bandito Resources. Great to see you. Great to see you, Mark. Now, the, the story uh, of your company is that you've got uh, eight projects in Mexico. That's the correct. most advanced are uh, Alacran and Obasura, where you have previous uh, resources, and you're looking to, to uh, have some growth potential there. So can you give us a, a brief overview? Overview, okay. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Mark. For sure. So Bendito Resources is a private company. Um, we are planning to go public this year. Uh, the assets we have are all in Mexico predominantly in Sonora, and the flagship is what you mentioned, Alacran and Opusura. Alacran has high sulfidation, epithermal, gold, silver, and has a very significant porphyry on the eastern side, which we will be pursuing. So those two projects, and the second one is Opusura. It's a zinc lead, um, it's also in Sonora, and that is fully permitted, ready for production. All right, very good. Now, so with uh, Alacran, you just completed a drilling program in late February. Yeah. Uh, you extended the strike length. Mm -hmm. You uh, uh, drilled some what you call exciting holes. So what were some of the highlights from that program? Very exciting holes, Mark. Like holes, so one of the holes, like hole five, was from 1.5 meters from surface. And that is more than a gram. So 1.5 grams at that depth of 50 meters, very exciting. It's just and sitting it's right there. It's right there at surface. <laughs> it's like, and almost all the holes were hitting intercepts near surface. Very exciting. All right, yeah. excellent. Now, so uh, I understand you have received the assay results from nine further holes. That's so correct. So wh uh, what's, uh, what's, what's the update there? So we'll be putting out a press release on those. So we put out a press release on the first nine, showing all those very interesting intercepts. And we will be doing that for the next set, which will be most likely next week. The plan there and the results we received were very consistent with everything else. So we are so confident about the extension of the strike length. But the plan there is to use those holes as the basis for additional drilling, which will be diamond drill, intending for a resource on and, the gold and silver. And, and you're quite confident, John, that, that you can do, you'll be able to do open pit mining. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These, look, these are just so <laughs> safe. Yeah. It's like right there at surface. Right, right. In fact, when I, there's a road cut and you go by, the, road, the whole place is mineralized. You know, it's, it's right there at surface. Easy, heap leachable, it's all oxide material. Heap leachable. We've done a little metallurgical test work. We'll continue to do the test work. But we are so confident that this is the type that's like Camino Rojo, you know? It's like you, 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 you and the grade is even higher than Camino Rojo. So this is very good. Excellent. And so then with uh, Obasura, as yeah. you said, the zinc, lead, silver. That's correct. Historical resource there. What, what kind of work are you doing there? So over there, we do have, um, it is fully permitted, like I indicated. There's exposure. There was initial um, open pit mining. And there is exposure to underground as well. And our plan there in the short term is this material sitting on the pad, which was mined previously. We will be processing that material. And then we'll be looking to going to mine. It will be a small scale operation initially, but then also to increase the size of a resource. Um, what was there originally was like a three million ton resource. We believe in this short term, just by infilling the central area and extending to the north, we will be increasing this resource significantly. So there will be some initial small-scale mining, but also just to generate cash, and then also to continue with the exploration and resource development. And so as you uh, uh, work on those two projects, mm -hmm. Alacran and mm -hmm. uh, Opasura, mm -hmm. when can investors expect an uh, uh, updated resource sometime this year? Yes, yeah, sometime this year for Alacran. So Alacran would have, in Q3, would have a resource would be, which will be an update because there's a jock statement on it. Jock resource, which is half a million gold, gold equivalent. We believe that we're gonna take it beyond a million, but we wouldn't say that until the resource is ready. Our objective is that by Q3, we would have a 43101 updated. We do have a 43101 report already, but we'll have a 43101 updated resource on Alacran. Opusura would be in 2024. Okay, very good. Now, John, you've said before that uh, you, you are in active talks or have mm -hmm. been in active talks about mm -hmm. the uh, 
Uh, other six projects, potential mm -hmm. partnerships. Can you update us on any of the progress there? Yes. So the other projects, there's one that we're selling already. Um, that's El Tecolote. There is an offer on it and most likely going to close. Um, there is Sara Lucia. The partnership there is with the other landholders to expand that. And in our portfolio, so we do have the core assets, which is Alacran, Opusura, and Promontorio, which is also copper gold. But we also have base, um, sorry, um, battery metals. So but the battery metals are the Sara Lucia, that is the one that I said we have a partnership there. And then we do have graphite um, at Oaxaca. So that's um, one of the projects that we'll be pursuing as well. It's called Telex Project. And so we'll put those into um, a different engine, more like a spin-off mm -hmm. for the battery metals. And our focus will still be on Alacran and Opusura. Now for Alacran, um, the porphyry is significant. We're in talks with some major companies to see if we could partner with them to do major exploration and, and develop the porphyry system. Um, that has not gone all the way through, um, but hopefully we can get a deal. I did notice on the, the, the map of Mexico and where you are in mm -hmm. Sonora that there, there are some majors in, in that area, correct? That's correct. Yeah? That's correct. Mm -hmm. And one of the majors um, happened to be in very good relations with Bendito. So we talk almost every other week or so. All right. Yeah. Now, lastly, John, as you mentioned, you're a private company. Mm -hmm. A lot of investors may not have heard of uh, Bendita Resources. So you've got this IPO coming in the middle of the year. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, naturally, you want to get the word out. Mm -hmm. And so what, what are some of the key factors that the investors, you've been touching on them here, but what mm -hmm. are, if you sum it up, what are the key factors investors should know about Bendito Resources? So key things they should know is that at this stage, and usually we give the benefit to our shareholders. I've done this before, I did it at Elim, which is Arizona Sonoran. Right. Um, we give our, our shareholders the benefit of that uplift when you're transitioning from a private to a public. So we're setting our valuation at a discount, which will benefit those that are currently involved and those that are coming in at the I IPO. We're actually not doing an IPO, it will be a reverse takeover. We have an LOI in place and everything structured and just waiting for the financials to be completed and we would be, we'll be listing the company. So they should be on the lookout. This is going to be a good opportunity. And you made a good point there. Let, let's finish with this uh, just yeah. briefly. You, your background, because I've interviewed Ar Arizona Sonoran uh, before, yeah. Copper Company, that's yeah. an interesting yeah. company. So what, what's the backstory there that led you to this? So the backstory there is, so starting in Arizona Sonoran, we started with, the name was Elim Mining, and, um, but we had the same philosophy of going in for assets that potentially you could add value, but have been ignored. So that's the same thing that we're doing with the projects in Mexico. Arizona Sonoran had a Sakatan mine, which um, had been mined for over 30 years, and nobody was paying attention to it subsequent to that. There were some litigation stuff, but we picked it up, turned it around, and look what it's doing for shareholders. So that's the same thing we're gonna do here. There's a track record, and it has worked. All right, very good, great to meet you, John. Thanks for coming in. You're so welcome. Okay, John Antwi, founder, CEO at Bandita Resources.